Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. We're making some progress, but we have a bit of an immortal prog problem down here. Um, I don't have that many units, and I was hoping to be able to just kind of skirt by. He's got a Nancy in the city, which is a bit worrisome. I'd love to take out these walls, uh, but I don't think I will. We really need to back off the Barbarians. They can still shoot me. They can still shoot me in a number of these spots, so I, I might lose this sword, which is not great. We're 10 turns away from our Voichen. We noticed that uh, uh, Shaka grabbed the last... I mean, he, either he Faithbot or Goldbotter was running projects for this last uh, last general. So ours is only going to be, be Medieval and Renaissance. Zenitan, thank you for the Prime. Welcome back for 10 months. Good to have you here. So I need more of an impressive army to be able to take this out. And we may have to just kind of pull back for a turn or two. Let's do something like this for now. Shoot here. Bring up some archers. Not like too worried about it. I'm not too worried. I'm going to bring this archer back around. There's another healthy sword that we can bring down. Uh, let's bring our vampire closer to the action and then heal back up. I can grab a sword here for 215. Like, if we want to buy swords, we can just do it like this. And it'll appear here. That's not bad. It's a good chunk of our money, but we should have enough time to uh, get money before machinery here. I love that they start with movement, too. You buy them, and they still have movement. So we won't have a general that'll affect those. We need seven more era score for a golden. We're going to get our unique unit. That's four of it. We're at five of 20. We may need to chop some things, get a granary. But most importantly, we really need to get this general. So I'm going to have to run another encampment training. Working on Mulan here. Hey, Atlas, how you doing? I have a horse. Uh, I have not levied yet for error score, but we've got enough time to, to figure it out, I think. You're good, Groovy. How you doing, buddy? The general will give error score indeed. Several oh, that gives error score. Granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Cool. And Arthur. Hey, we were talking about how we didn't have Arthur, so uh, that's not bad. Weather's supposed to warm up this week enough that you'll be able to take your bike out for the first time this year. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. All right. We'll see what happens here. I'm very scared of these immortals. I kind of need barb strength in. Oh, I have it. That's right. We're running the new oligarchy. Oh, um, that's you know what? That's a it's a that's a Carl question, Ryu. Next time we see Carl, let's ask him, because I I want to say that it, it it only works for that spy, but maybe it is maybe it is everybody. That's a good question, friend. My Districting friend. on Torres, don't worry about it. It's fine. Hachi, thank you for the follow. This is not a good deal. So no. That extra movement saving our saving our swordsman's life there potentially. This can kill units just fine. Matumbo, thank you so much for the seven months. Thank Thanks you and always welcome back. For the great content. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. That that could be how it works, Ryu. Again, sorry if I got that wrong. But we'll ask Carl for clarification. Um, all right, so we have a trade route. 
I think the biggest thing with this trade route is going to be tying in some road infrastructure. We've got a road that goes all the way here to Beijing. So can I go maybe from either of these more southern cities? To Hattusa? That's kind of what I want. All right. That works. So go here. That'll work. I like pacifist games a lot of times. Muffin with the Twitch Prime. Hey, buddy. Thank you so much. One year for your evil twin. One year for my evil twin. I dig it. Thank you so much, Muffin. Thank you for the ongoing support with two different accounts there. Very, very kind of you. I appreciate the generosity. Scarce Earth, thank you for the eight months as well. Welcome back into the shop. Thanks, everybody. Getting that getting that sub count back up after after my slow start to the year. So I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't mind this district on Torres. Like, what are you giving up? A really good food tile? Who cares? I'd rather have a plus four holy site. The rest of these districts, however, the holy site I don't mind, but the rest of it, I don't know. Seems sus. Seems sus. Is there any way to get you to grow? Basically just need a chop. Yeah, it's a goofy map. It's it's a goofy map. And not ideal for districting for us, but that's okay. We're we're more focused on the war effort. Alright, don't die. Can't be often we've had a Pangea like this. It's a super weird one. Who needs a plan for districts when you can take them instead? See, Bose gets it. <laughs> Bose gets it. Am I supposed to wait eight turns? Or can I bring down these archers, take out these walls, take this city? I'm a little worried about the barbarians. I suppose I could just kind of pause the war for a second. Put all of our... Like, heal up this... Heal up all of our units, frankly. Yeah, okay. I think that, that'll be a little bit better. You know what? Let's go here. I was going to go to Hattusa. But this is the road I want. Granada's only three gold. Yeah. All right, you just heal. You hang out. Eight turns on our elephants. All right. We'll just have all these defend. Given that we're going to wait eight turns, can we peace for ten? Do we get anything for piecing? He doesn't have anything to give us. If he rebuilds his walls in time, honestly, that's fine. Because we're going to have basically a general and a bunch of uh, relevants, relevant elephants coming in. And then this gives me time for our uh, army to get down here. I also love relevants. They seem so relevant. Yeah, I'll pull back like that. See, I told you he was going to come down and settle somewhere here. That's fine. Okay. I could try to be friends. Anything to trade? He's got horses. I 
What would you give me for, let's call it, 38 horses? Or no, 28. Not interested, mostly probably because you don't have any money. Why are you so useless? That's decent. Pretty happy to trade there. Yeah, it's very kind of him to gift us a city right there. We, we like that. That's a good thing. I mean, if the, if the barbs raise this city, am I that sad? They haven't even shot it. There's still one tick of walls there. The earth will shake. Oh, that, that, that just makes me think of Valheim. The ground is shaking. Uh, thank you so much, Earth. I appreciate the 12 months. Welcome back with that prime. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. Thank you for the full year. Three of five. What are our tiles like here? They're okay. We could use builders. We're getting feudalism in 11. Our farm situation is poor. So I don't think we're going to get that Eureka. Nor do I think it's worth it to try. All right, you hang out, you're healing. These need to be in our territory for upgrades. Five turns on growth here, so you can actually just sit. Sit like that. Something like that. Flying Dutchman, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. I really could use builders. We have 18 turns, which means I'd be able to put in this policy. Best way to get feudalism is to capture city with farms? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we don't have that option, though, unfortunately. Much as I would like, I don't think it's going to be worth it. Reminds me, I tried Valheim over the weekend and absolutely love it. I'm hooked. It's so good, right, Mario's? It's seriously the best game. I what's, what's the last game I've played that's better than Valheim? I legit can't think of one. Save for, like, obviously Civ Six. But beyond that, like, it's so good. To think it's still in early access. It's, okay, I have this weird thing. I am a game restarter. Especially, especially strategy games, especially things where it's like, oh, I'm gonna learn a little bit and figure out how to do it better. Restart, restart, restart. Valheim is not a, is like a game that I I loathe. I don't I do not want to restart it. Like that's the last thing I want to do, which is so opposite to my nature. I find it to be interesting. Tempted to get into Valheim, can't see the depth of it. I I I I have I I there's there's depth. There's depth, let me tell you. Uh you can you can lose a lot of time playing that game uh and 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 on something silly. Which is really, it's it's a wonderful thing. Do I think Hammurabi's a good sieve? I don't know what to think about him. I think he's a unique sieve. Um, I, I think that, that Hammurabi can be very powerful. Um, but uh, I, I think more than anything, they're just very, very unique. Uh, which I like a lot. Ten turns on the era. We've got a couple turns on our Void Chen. Need to run another project. So that will be four plus one. I'm looking for like one more era score. I have not tried Rust. I have not tried Rust at all. Oh God, internet, please don't. Please don't. Okay. All right, that was just a little blip. Just a little blip. I've heard comparisons of Valheim to Rust, but I don't really like Rust, but I love Terraria. Huh. I don't know, I don't know about Rust. How is it related to other several building games? Raft and Subnautica come to mind. I really don't play a lot of them. Um, what I think is neat is like the crafting feels incredibly important, but doesn't take a lot of time to do. Um, oh, can I get you? Uh-oh. No. Why are barbs? Barbs are the hardest part of this game. Yeah, there's no PvP really in Valheim. It's like a... It's like a, um, it, it's more of a co-op game. 
It's like 50% Minecraft, 50% Skyrim. Well, no, not Skyrim's a bad comparison. It's 50% Minecraft. It's because I haven't made them yet, Ryu. We have six turns on Mulan. Yeah, the hero will get us there too. Thank you, Blue Wings. I wasn't too worried about it. I think we can find one if need be. Oblivion with building. That's maybe a little better. But there isn't. Th th there's not so much stuff, right? There, there are materials and there are there are craftables and things. But there's not so much like, oh, you're gonna go find a, a, a great sword. Like that really doesn't exist a lot in the game, uh, which I think is 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 neat and pr frankly for me one of the selling points. I want to see if I can shoot this. Yeah, thank you, Ryu. I, I know that I need to do them. Hey, Desem Quinn. Thank you, buddy. Th thanks for stopping in. Good to have you here. Only thing I'm afraid through for Val Valheim is replay value. The first playthrough is amazing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Per first playthrough is top notch. I, I'm a, I share the same concern a little bit, but part of me is like, I can't wait until they patch it so that I can start a brand new game. All right, they, they reversed course on that. Nine turns. We've got Hercules coming in three. Mulan coming in five. When we were when we were playing Slay the Spire the other day, I, I did feel like I was doing a pretty good job explaining it <laughs> during the last uh, 12 hour stream. So obviously I need to make more proper tutorials, eh? Nice mountain range, holy cow. Talk about defensive. Yeah, Mulan will be longer, right? She'll, the, the the production cost there will get increased. So hopefully we just don't get beat to uh, Hercules. Real test is, can you explain it while playing a different game? That does sound like some uh, mental gymnastics. Like, Oni's a game that I liked restarting a lot in. I would, like, learn a little bit about Oni and be like, okay, give me a new seed. All right, we'll go this way away from that. Are Barb's going to raise it? He's now taken the wall damage. So, I, again, I'm okay with that if it happens. We'll just move our army here. Like, this is, this is a snowy tundra city that's... Mostly hot garbage. Four turns on machinery. Eight turns on the era. Looking pretty good here. Machu's still available? That's kind of crazy. Nine turns on the builder. Seven on feudalism. Okay, cool. We'll get some builders going. I'm not running the builder production card, which isn't great. Cold garbage? I do mean cold garbage. <laughs> Mostly hot garbage. Name your next band. Nice. Are they a garbage cover cover band? I'm sorry. I take it back. I'm trying to think of what the uh, what the version of uh, I I'm only happy when it rains would be if it was like hot themed. I, and I can't think of one. I can't think of one. <laughs> nice, Ordas. Thank you. Yeah, Feudalism is era score as well. We'll probably wind up going on over a little bit. Or we could delay it. We'll see. Oh, so many barbs down here. This is bad. So no other barb camps on the map? Really? Oh, it's Car Caravel's still kind of insane. 
I don't think it helps us. I, I, I at first read cavalry and I was like, hit it, hit the button, hit the button. Not cavalry, caravel. I mean, I, my, eh. I don't, I, do, does, do naval units increase the, the strength of your vamp? And also, do I care about my vamp that much? Thousand gold for an annoying tech boost. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I ordered a horse. Exactly, Van Bradley. <laughs> do they? I mean, so what's the strength of a caravel? 55? It's pretty strong. But it's all my money. I want to make sure I can get my elephants. Oh, man. We have all kinds of barb issues down here. This is horrible. All right. Seven turns. Three turns on machinery. Not going to worry about the feudalism boost. I love that that old that old old spice commercial really hit the internet like a like a like a horse. It was it was it was all anyone could talk about for like a week. I'm on a horse. What? How about Muse? Muse? Claim every hero across multiple games. Huh. I don't... That doesn't include me, right? Pretty sure Vamps is only land units. I mean, that's what I thought too. But I'm not sure. I, I, I can't... I don't know for sure. I thought it was only land units for for those. Um, I that wasn't me. Like I got, I've had Hercules before. I don't understand why I got that achievement. <laughs> I really don't. This also isn't where I want Hercules. Uh, I want some districts. So I could get our I could get our science going with Herc. I think that's going to be the best plan. The the super district is era score though. Yeah, I saw that Machu's still here, which is nutty. All right, this is this is this is me versus the Barb's per usual. Did we get our general? I can gold buy the general. So maybe I take the time, build the granary, get Hercules in position. We wait six turns. Then we get our campuses. That'll help slingshot us to Niter units. I think the achievement's bug too. That's that's yeah. <laughs> I've never gotten Oya either. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that was bugged. So five times four is 20. That gets us there. So I don't need to run another project. Yeah, let's do this. Feudalism in five, builder in five. That's, we'll, have to, we'll have to micro that just a little bit. Bams copy the highest strength of any land or naval unit, but not airplanes or DDRs. Okay, thank you, Atlas. Good to know. It 
Good to know. 11 turns on that now. We can get Herc involved in the war eventually. Our army's pretty much healed up. We could move our swords into position. Is this healed enough for my taste? So unless he can raise it here. Gotta take that out. We're no longer at risk of losing it. I don't care if this horse dies. It's like the 20, yeah, it has 20 strength. Eventually, we could upgrade it, but, like, whatever. Yeah. I'm hoping to grab this city, obviously, with the settler there, too. That'll be nice. All right. Next turn, we get our elephants. Um, can you just give me more money? Okay. All right, machinery gives us error score. And then our, uh, our unit's going to give us the final error score we need. Look at all these barbs, my goodness. Friendship expired, let's re-up that. So 290. Yeah, these are expensive. I don't think I have time to get to mercenaries before I can upgrade. No, it's too far. That'll get us started. All right, I wouldn't mind grabbing an industrial zone in our cap to crank out more of these to send north. So I think I'm going to skew towards apprenticeship versus trying to get to military engineering. Some of the techs are shared, so it should be fine. But this will unlock our commercial hubs. Vamp down, I guess. All right, we'll camp out Hercules for just a second. We've got our Golden Age secured. There isn't a de dedication that we're like crazy interested in uh, for where we're at. But again, loyalty matters and the Golden will help us there. Did I miss it? I, I miss lots of things, Major Bean Geek. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. So what do we want? How are we avoiding error score? Are we build it? I mean, we're avoiding this. I don't want this to come out quite yet until we're actually at feudalism. We're going to have to avoid feudalism. So that's okay. Both of these are going to have to get delayed a little bit, though. T 
TOA to Shaka. All right, three turns on the era. Keep it. It's not outstanding, but it's got iron. Yeah, we didn't get to keep the settler. I think you keep builders, but not settlers. I don't know. When, I don't can't remember when that changed, though. Yeah, that's pretty great, Slim. Yeah, it could be St. Basil's. I liked this St. Basil's city better. There's a lot of snow here, but it's fine. All right, three turns on the era. I play roguelike or roguelike games. Um, not a ton. The, the one I got addicted to recently was Hades. I love Hades. I like Slay the I, I love Slay the Spire. I, I guess you could technically consider that kind of a rogue light, but not really. Um, but Hades, I got super into. Super, super into. Two turns on each of those. One turn here. All right. Do we get our general? Next turn. So we'll go over on era score here, but that's okay. For the price of a general, I'll I'll gladly pay. Waiting for Hades to come out physically for six. Why do you need the physical copy, Major Band Geek? Just just get it on Switch. Just get it. All right. So this transfer down here. You like physical copies? When I was younger, I liked physical copies of things. And then I got to a point where I was like, why do I need stuff? Everything's on the internet. I don't need stuff. Uh, and so now I no longer care about physical copies of things. All right. Feudalism next turn. We have both of these builders coming out next turn. So we want to delay this at least a tick. Which is awkward because I don't have amazing things to put this into. I like physical copies when they came with 300 page lore books. That's a good point. Valentin, thank you for the 17 muds. Ni hao to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ni hao. Ni hao, friend. Ni hao. Um, I could start this. This is an okay government plaza. Yo, old gray hair. Thank you for the 29 muds, my friend. <laughs> Speaking of streamers who have absolutely crushed it. The next step is to migrate our awesome bodies to see you crushing the it internet as a streamer, and become ourselves. Hair. 29 months is crazy. Everywhere as well. Thank you very Get much, Galaxy friend. Galaxy Brain. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Galaxy Brain, so much. Thank you, thank you, friend. What do I put this into now? I could do an aqueduct here. With like a industrial zone somewhere in here. I don't really want that. I can start Machu. <laughs> Should we start Machu? Is anyone else building it? No one else is building it. I could try. That saves me my turn there. And I can just put a turn into walls. I guess that's a fair thing to do. Uh, thank you for the follow. I don't know how 
that works, but thank you. So this next turn. Industrial date games in uh, an early or well-placed industrial zone uh, in your primary cities is perfectly fine in domination style games. Oops. That was the general. I need these elephants down here so that I can uh, start clearing out these barbs. So I kind of have to make these moves. I suppose you could move. And get you all the way down. That works. That works. That works. We're at 66 era score, so good to go there. All right, so we've delayed all of the builders. Vamp is coming down. And now we go into a... Well, no, we're two turns away. Two turns away from the era. So we're delaying feudalism, that's right. We have anything to trade? That's always a good question. Pretty happy keeping our amenities. This war has gone on pretty long. Yeah, okay. A man on a horse is... All right. Hey, rambling man. How you doing? Indeed. Live in person on the internet. That's where you find me. All right. So let's go into the medieval era. Finally, uh, our next government promotion can get us uh, vampire castles plus more vampires. So that seems good. Barb mode's been pretty nice. I, I've been enjoying barb mode. I cannot switch back to the builders until we actually hit feudalism. So let's make sure we hit feudalism next turn. That era score will go into the next age, and then we can switch into the policy. All right, I think we're going to be in good shape now. I think medieval era is our era. I think we're going to kill it. I did purchase the boats from Barb Camps, and we did get Era Score for them. Okay, Barb's have been cleared. Let's, uh, let's do our policy shenanigans. So at feudalism, we have our great general, so we can just bring down serfdom for now. I don't mind discipline while we're dealing with this, but I do want to start making more units. So I think I'm going to bring in feudal contract over the barb strength. I think our Voichen can help us uh, clear out any barbs that we need to. So I think I like the government set up like this for now. Um, and then we want to switch back to builders because we've got serfdom in. So let's make sure we finish these up. Next turn, you're going to get a builder. You're going to get a builder. You can eventually get a builder. We need a dedication. Probably just movement on our builders again. I could get some commercial hubs. I could also get pen brush. 
that could be decent as far as carrying us to our next government. We are fairly behind on culture and science and things like that. I could certainly see the value of being able to buy and, and move builders around. But I think I'll take the culture. I think we'll take Penbrush. One extra culture per specialty district. Note that that does not count our encampment, sadly. But as we pick up more, more uh, districts from captured cities and things, we'll be pretty happy to have that. So used to that just auto clearing. It's so weird that it doesn't. Uh, it actually works, doesn't it? All right, you can stay there. Let's put multiple units in range. Can only attack us once. Can bring up our battering ram. Nice. Just barb mode. We're using barb mode, uh, heroes mode, and secret societies mode. TGM cuddle party is every day. That's every day. New question. If I go 20 points over the minimum required for golden age, do I lose those points or does it count towards the next? You lose those points. You lose you lose those points. So if you if you go here, uh, you can you can look at it's whatever whatever your era score was at when the era began is your base and then there are modifiers that that go that get added on thereafter. But so if you go twenty over your era, uh, your classic age uh, golden, it doesn't benefit you in in really any ways. Besides in in um, dramatic ages mode, there's there's the benefit there if you're playing on that one. Right. Cody, what's up? How you doing? Would you rather wake up each morning to find a random animal appendage has replaced your non-dominant arm or permanently replace your bottom half with an animal of your choosing? The appendage changes every day. I would take a different I would take a different arm every day. Why am I choosing not to upgrade some of my units to save money? Um, so, like, the scout doesn't matter. I, that, that, I find that to be a waste of money. Um, if the scout dies, boohoo. We've got pretty much everything scout, scouted that we need to. The only unit that I have the ability to upgrade that I'm not upgrading is this archer. And it's because it's not on the front lines. And so it would be a waste of money to do so. Uh, we will eventually upgrade this. But I like having the flexibility of, of, a, of a, you know, a little bit of gold in the bank. Um, all right, let's start making these uh, campuses as well. Wake up. Because, like, for example, I need to get this tile. Now, I could wait four turns, but there's not it's not always guaranteed that you're there in four turns, right? So we're going to build these districts on woods so that we get culture out of our buildings because I don't have theater square plans at the moment. I haven't really had enough time to play with Monopoly mode, Fountain. I haven't played a lot since it's come out, to be honest. It's been, a, again, a, a bit of a slow ramp up to the year for me. But we'll, ex we'll explore it in future playthroughs for sure. So suffice it to say, I don't really have much of an opinion on it right now. What would be the best random animal arm to get? Bear claw? What's like the best version of that uh that that would you rather? Gorilla? How about like eagle wing? You could, <laughs> you could do absolutely nothing with it. That'd be the worst. Octopus arm would be pretty good. <laughs> T-Rex arm, but then how are you going to pick up anything? 
It's so small. I know, that's just it. You can't fly with the one wing. So it would be the worst. <laughs> I'm picturing someone like spinning in a pool, just like you get a like you get a really powerful like shark fin. And you're just like going in circles. All right, so World Congress has dawned. Uh, give me five combat strength on my ranged units, please. That would be fantastic. We could vote melee as the AI is likely to vote alongside that. But I would really like this to be applied to our Void Gen. Nice. Both of them are victories for us. So our unit's even stronger. I'm going to clear out this camp as it has been a giant pain in the butt. I have found in most cases I've just wanted to clear. Alright, so Barb's pretty much dealt with. I assume there's another camp down here. Bunch of five charge builders, which is nice. We need to run feudalism for at least a little bit more while we finish two turns there. <laughs> Gecko's pretty good. Yeah, lizard, lizard arm. If you do not scout the empty, scout the empty land, there will be a couple new city states. I think I'd be all right with that. I think I'd be quite all right with that. Oh, I wasted a little bit there. I didn't switch off. Whoops. Whoops, but now our science is in good shape. Certainly better. Mercenary's only four now. So we can save money on other upgrades and then probably build more units. I do want to finish this and then we'll probably build some more Voichen. Yeah, and then we'll get back to Machu Picchu here. Maybe we'll get it. We can try. Yo, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. One envoy. One envoy, huh? I think I'm just going to send it. I think I'll save it, actually. For era score and like flipping city states during wars, maybe. There's an encampment here we need to be a little bit careful of. And remember that my general does not work with those swords, so I don't have to worry about that positioning. Uh, Norway's next after China, and yes, this is a dumb game. How many bits were you going to name an elephant after you? I, I, I don't do stuff for, for bits like that. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Sieged. <laughs> this is all I had anyways. Much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I find that the more I slow thing my games down, the more irritated comments I get on YouTube. Because I play slow enough as is. Um, and that isn't everybody's favorite thing. And so for me to like rename units in the middle of videos is, is not a great idea, I don't think. Only name spies after you. That was back in the day when we had like 20 viewers, Cody. That was... Uh, that was a special thing back then. And now you live in infamy. 
How's it feel to be infamous? Move on the elephants. I think I'm okay on the elephants. I don't mind if they take some damage. They're, they're among our stronger units here. This builder is basically going to get up there so we can... Um, repair these things. All right, we have one build left, so three turns. I'm going to grab this uh, industrial zone. Okay, and I think uh, as we as we begin to watch the fall of Beijing, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in the video here. Thank you so much if you've been watching over on the YouTubes. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We'll see you then.